Good morning. Today's lesson is 6.4. Transform units. Our essential question, how can you transform units to solve problems? You can sometimes use the units of quantities in a problem to help you decide how to solve the problem. Let's unlock the problem. A car's gas mileage is the average distance the car can travel on one gallon of gas. Maria's car has a gas mileage of 20 miles per gallon. How many miles can Maria travel on nine gallons of gas? Real life problem that you might be encountering. Would you expect the answer to be greater or less than 20 miles and why? It's gonna be greater than because if Maria can go 20 miles on just one gallon, then she's gonna go much further on nine gallons. So step one, let's identify the units. You know that two quantities of the car's gas mileage and the amount of gas. So gas mileage, 20 miles per gallon. So we already said it in the problem, 20 miles. So this is gonna be miles per gallon. So per one gallon. So amount of gas is nine gallons. And the distance that we're going, well, that's, we don't know how much the distance is, but we know that it's going to be in miles. Step two, determine the relationship among the units. So this is kind of like when we were doing unit rate. So think, the answer needs to have units of miles. If I multiply 20 miles over one gallons by nine gallons, how can I divide out the gallon, units of gallons? The product will have to be units of miles, which is what I want. So step three is using the relationship. So if I write out 20 miles over one gallon times nine gallons, then I'm going to have it's going to be the same thing as equaling 20 miles over one gallon. I can cross my gallons out, nine gallons over one mile. So now I have 20 times nine, which is 180 over one, which is 180 miles because we cross multiplied the gallons, right? So Maria can travel 180 miles on one gallon of gas. Now let's explain why the units of gallons are crossed out in the multiplication step above. Well, the product can be simplified by dividing out the common unit, gallon. Now sometimes you may need to convert units before solving a problem. Example, the material for a rectangular awning has an area of 315 square feet. If the width of the materials is 5 yards, what is the length of the material in feet? So recall, the area of a rectangle equals its length times its width, right? So first, we're going to have to identify the units. We've got our feet and we've got yards. So you knew the two, two quantities, the area of materials and the width of the materials. The area is 315 feet. So 315 feet is 315 feet times we don't know. So remember that the area is the length times the width. So if you know the length, you know the width, then you're going to get the area. And they're saying that this area is 315 feet, right? So the width, so according to the problem, it is five yards right here. So we're going to write the yard. We don't know the length, but we do need, we, we need to convert this yards into feet. So determine the relationship among the units. The answers needs to have the units of feet. So I need to convert the width from yards to feet. So yards, in every one foot, there are three feet. So if I do five times three, that's going to give me how many yards there are in five feet. And that is 15. Three times five is 15. So think, if I divide the area by width, I can divide out the units of feet. And the quotient will have units of 15 feet. So because we want to be feet. Okay. Which is what I want. So now we're going to use that relationship. Divide the area of width to find the length. So 315 square feet divided by the 15 feet, which we discovered in step two, you're going to get 315 square feet divided by 15 feet and 315 divided by 15 cross out my times the feet is going to be 21 feet. 315 divided by 15 is 21. So the length of the material is going to be 21 feet. Apply. Explain how knowing how to find the area of a rectangle could help you solve the problem above. 
So to find the area of a rectangle, you multiply the length times the width, right? So here's my area. I multiply the length times the width. And if the area and width are known, then you can divide to find the length. Number three, explain why the answer is in feet, even though the units of feet are divided out. So the area of the material is in square feet. Remember, square feet means two, right? So two, two means you're going to go two times two, right? So in other words, feet times feet. So only one factor of the feet is in the numerator, which is going to divide itself out. So that one factor of feet is still the answer. Because remember, up here, we crossed out one factor of feet, and we're still left with this factor of feet. All right, share and show. A dripping faucet leaks 12 gallons of water per day. How many gallons does the faucet leak in six days? So quantities we know. We know the 12 right here. The 12 is referring to gallons. So then looking at the problem, the other one is going to be per day. So this bottom is going to be per one day. So they do 12 gallons for one day. And then how many days are we trying to get to? Well, we're trying to get to six days. Again, looking back at the problem. So the quantity that you want to know is gallons. We want to know the gallons because we already know the days. We know it's six days. So if I do that, then that means I've got 12 gallons for one day times the six days. And 12 times six is 72. So it's going to be 72 gallons for six days. So the faucet is going to leak 72 gallons in six days. The next problem. Bananas sell for 44 cents per pound. How much will seven pounds cost? So we're going to set this up like the other one. So we've got 44 cents per one pound. And we know we have seven pounds, um, but we don't know how much it costs. So seven times 44 is going to be $3.08. So for seven, oops, I didn't want this to go to eight. So for seven pounds, you're going to pay $3.08. Number three, Grizzly Park is a rectangular park with an area of 24 square miles. The park is three miles wide. What is the length in miles? So we've got 24 miles. And the park we know is three miles wide. Remember that we have length times width and area equals the length times the width. So if I already know the area, my area is 24. So I'm going to write the formula up here. Area equals length times width. Area is 24. We know, don't know the length, but we know that the width is 3. Then I can try to get the Three alone. I'm going to do this a different way than I taught you earlier because this way might be a little bit easier. So if I divide by three on this side and I divide by three on this side, I'm going to get the L alone and L is going to equal eight because 24 divided by three is eight. So the Grizzly Park is going to be eight miles long. All right, so we're going to multiply or divide. That's what we have to figure out here. So if we look here, we've got 24 kegs over one minute, and we've got minute. Well, if I cross these out, right, then I'm left with 24 times 15, and 24 times 15 is 360, and my leftover is kilogram. And then over here, I've got 216 divided by 8. Well, 216 divided by 8 is 27, and it's going to be centimeters because these are squared centimeters. This one and this one are going to cross out, and then we'll have one left over. Over here, it's showing me multiplying. So I've got my hours. I'm going to cross out my hours. I'm left with liters as my answer. 17 times 9 is 153. The reason I knew it was liters is because that one didn't get crossed out, right? Okay, so the rest you're going to do on your own. We've got a Think Central, and if you need me, I'll be on the carpet. Good luck.